Our next adventure brings us to Mammoth Lakes, which is in the eastern Sierras just east of Yosemite National Park. Good morning, it's travel day again. We've been staying at June Lake at O Ridge Campground and it's been amazing. Four nights here, it's dry camping. Um, we've had this beautiful view for the past four days and it's just um, amazing. <laughs> um, anyhow, we're moving on to Mammoth Lakes. We're staying at Old Shady Rest Campground, um, also dry camping, so we're gonna fill up on some water, um, dump our tanks, and get going in a caravan down south. It's about, oh, about a 25 minute drive, so not much today, which is great. See you soon. Still a little water fill up. It'll be interesting to see how many gallons we used of fresh water in the four days we were here, four nights. That's right. Once we arrived in Mammoth, we made a quick stop at the Welcome Center and walked over to our campground to scope out our campsites. So we just got to Mammoth and we had a little extra time, so we are gonna go check out the Hot Creek Geologic Site. It's supposed to be like a little mini Yellowstone. So we're gonna hike down to it and check it out. So you are standing in the bottom of a large volcanic basin. This 10 by 18 mile depression in the Earth's crust was created about 700,000 years ago when a tremendous eruption blasted nearly 50 cubic miles of molten rock from beneath the Earth's surface. The ground then sank several hundred feet, producing this huge depression referred to as a caldera. Beautiful. There's the Mammoth Mountain and Hot Creek, they call it Hot Creek, and then the boiling pots over there. Is it hot, Hannah Ben? Woo! <laughs> they said, they said don't be sticking your fingers in the... So you're in their habitat. They live here. You're their guest. If they come into your site, you can make noise to try to scare them away as you're backing up. If you feel intimidated, get in your vehicle and honk the horn. We're not a high active bear campground unless you leave some strawberries out, oranges out, or something <laughs> silly to invite them in. But if you're going to cook at your site, get what you need out, put everything else up. Don't leave your ice chest out for the two hours of cooking. Because oh. then they're going to see the ice chest and they're going to come for it. And then they're going to drag it off. There's nothing you can do. You might as well just let them finish it out. So put it up. If you're in a trailer, your food is good in the trailer. Um, just close your uh, windows so that if they want to look in, even at night, that is a clean slate. They don't see food in your trailer or in your vehicle. No empty Coke cans, water bottles, anything. It should be clean slate. You're just buying a new car. And then same with the... <laughs> just like it. Just like that. Oh, when, good thing windows we're not. Windows close oh, wait, except for Mike. <gasps> when you leave vents closed. Now, if you have the double vent, you can leave it up. But if you don't have the double vent preventing that vent, then close it. Um, because they climb trees and they hop on the top and they go through oh, that geez. vent. And if the baby gets stuck, 
could be disaster for your trailer with him trying to get out. Because um, wow. that, that has happened. Um, so that's kind of the bear situation. I don't think you really need to lose sleep over it. Um, this campground, I haven't written up a bear report on a bear in three years. So, but I still want to give you this yeah. well, If you want bears, helpful, go to Sherwin Creek. They live there. Oh, okay. People oh, make it very to plentiful to. to well, yeah. If you want to go spend the day there, I mean, just go there for a couple of hours. It happens. You just walk the campground, and they're they're the color of the tree right now, and a little darker. So they're gonna they're going to really fade in with that tree. You probably would really have to take a double take to huh. even see them because um, they're, they're, they're that color. Tree. Um, we got up and went for a little ride this morning just to kind of scope out the area and it's just so pretty uh, the wildflowers are just popping right now um, so we went for a little ride um, got a little mechanical on my bike my brakes aren't working so great so we're gonna go to the bike shop and get some brake fluid and hopefully that will fix the problem because we're hoping to do Tioga Pass tomorrow um, and then we're gonna go hike around Convict Lake with our friends so that's what's on the agenda Lake. Somebody that Kathy knows recommended this place and man is it stunning. Convict Lake received its current name after a dramatic shootout in September of 1871 after a group of 29 men broke out of the state penitentiary in Carson City, Nevada. Six made it to this site more than 200 miles away. Tracked here by a posse, the convicts the convicts killed Robert Morrison, the county sheriff, and Mono Jim, a Paiute Indian guide. How, um, how many miles around the lake? Three. Three, okay. Yeah. I think that's Sweet. perfect. It's, yeah. It's 2.4. 2. 2. So we made it to the water crossing. There's so much water this year that it's completely wet and you had to kind of traverse over several streams. Some people took their shoes off. We did not. <laughs> Woo! So much water this year. <laughs> They're so keyed. So it turns out it wasn't just like this one or two streams, idea, yeah. but it's several. I mean, this entire area has water running through it, um, but they have this bridge, which is really amazing. It's almost like Hawaii. And here we go again. Wow. <laughs> Wow, so much water going into Combat Lake. Uh -oh. Are you going? Are they? Oh, wow. 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 just walked through that was just water all in through there 
Snow's almost melted, but it's probably coming from even higher than right here. One more water crossing. That hike was really, really fun, but we did go through the water. There's a water crossing, so see how our socks... Oh, you know what? Not too bad. They are soaked, but <laughs> they'll dry off. That was real worth it, right? Yes. We made it back to Mammoth Brewing Company <laughs> after that hike and we're gonna hook up with our friends and we're um, gonna have a beer and check this place out. Food and drinks using the QR code made it super easy and our order came very quickly. Uh, Pilsner, here's another Pilsner. And pear. Thank you. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. How's your beer? Really good. <laughs> Cheers, y'all, too. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna cheers you even though you're down here. So, Kelly, we ordered the same thing. Give us a report on these crinkle fries. Look at this. Pretty false. Yeah. I love fries. The fun is crispy and crunchy. So perfect. I like crispy and crunchy. Yeah. 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 extra flavor on the fingers. <laughs> Mike was able to fix the brakes on my bike, so we were able to ride Tioga Pass the next day. Due to heavy snowfall and road damage, Tioga Pass opened later than usual this year. When they open the road to cars, they allow cyclists to ride the day before. This only happens once per year, so we felt pretty lucky that we were in the area. There's a separate video highlighting our day, and I will provide the link in the video description. Good morning. Um, it's our last full day in Mammoth Lakes and we are bummed. <laughs> this place is amazing and it's definitely on our list to come back. Um, we are going to hike today Sherwin Lakes. It's a 4.1 mile round trip and I think there's a water crossing again so I actually brought my Tevis. So anyway we're going to go do that and then go explore a little bit more of the town of Mammoth Lakes. <laughs> three quarters up. It's been an uphill climb the whole way so far and you're treated to this beautiful view. Here's one of Sherwin Lakes. I think the second one. The first one was really small. Sherwin Lake, the main Sherwin Lake, and you can see water coming in the far side, just pouring in and then overflowing right here into the smaller Sherwin Lake. the main trail to try to find where the water comes in at the lake and we found it
Don't fall in. <laughs> Sherwin Lakes hike. We're at about six miles and what a great hike. Um, do it early. The parking lot gets full and it gets a little bit hot um, but very worthwhile. Lots of beautiful lakes. <laughs> Everybody's happy smiling faces. <laughs> After that hike I think we should go get ourselves a slice of pizza. our last full day in Mammoth Lakes and boy it's going to be really sad to leave this place we definitely need to come back there are just so many things to do for outdoor people and cyclists very very bike friendly uh, area for mountain and road so we definitely want to come back um, so anyway I'm walking down to the visitor center because I need to get my passport book stamped definitely need it stamped um, and then we're going to go head back to the campground for happy hour. So anyway, um, it's our last day here. Had a wonderful time and can't wait to come back. It's always good to leave on a high note, right? With a list of things to do the next time you come. I just came to get my book stamp. There it is. <laughs> right on. This shows how incredibly bike friendly this town is. It's awesome, but also for pedestrians and horses and such. But tomorrow morning before we leave, we might do the Lakes Basin Path. So from our campground in Old Shady Rest going up uh, to the lakes. So Lake Mary Road, the basin, it's called the Lakes Basin Path and it goes up to Twin Lakes Vista Point and it's just beautiful up there. bike path and it goes all the way to Twin Lakes and beyond right it does just a little bit past Lake Mary it goes all the way to Horseshoe Lake oh wow yeah. what a great thing to add for the community and for visitors so nice look at these views there's a waterfall Ooh. right there right there's a lookout up ahead. Oh. Isn't that awesome? Look at the sun. Oh my gosh. Just in that area. Makes it look there like it the is. sun is just rising, but it's not. Right. <laughs> Made it to Twin Lakes. Twin Lakes Waterfall. July 23rd and there's still snow. 
So this is the waterfall at Twin Lakes that we just saw. Wow. <laughs> and that's like Mary, right? So we reached the end and it's Horseshoe Lake and it's just stunning. Look at those mountains. Oh my God. We met a local woman who showed us this picture of what Horseshoe Lake looked like just one year ago. Well, that was really fun. Seven miles to the top, hour to the top, 15 minutes down. <laughs> yeah. Now we better get packed up and ready to go. As we reached the end of our four month adventure, we had one last stop to make, Truckee, California. We had always wanted to kayak at Sand Harbor, which is on the eastern side of Lake Tahoe, south of Incline Village. Made it to Thun Thunderbird Lodge. Pretty cool little point on Lake Tahoe. A little lighthouse. days or how many what percentage of this year have you been on the road since then in March well yeah. since we retired I think it's seven months out of the 13 months wow. so half, half the time well, you've well, had half. birthdays and anniversaries and holidays yeah, yeah. yeah everything while you're out 20, here this is our 23rd campground awesome Mammoth will be 24 this, Turkey will this be 25 trip? during this four month time yeah. wow yeah <laughs> one Good every job. six days yeah some people like retire and go don't know what to do with myself. Yeah. And they, they just take time and they just kind of try to get in their groove. You guys were like, yeah, on it. <laughs> we really do appreciate meeting up with you guys along our travels. It adds a new burst of energy yeah, to our travels sure. and a whole lot of fun because you guys are so much it's fun. It's family. Yeah. We laugh a whole lot. When we're with you. We laugh when we're together too, but we you know, we can predict each other's jokes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We get a lot of giggles in, so thank you. We're yeah. grateful for your friendship. We love it. We like it. We like it. <laughs> Team Marmot playing Dude, cornhole. Get in. Landscape. <laughs> Landscape. Do you want me walking, or is it a picture thing? Before we all started camping, you you honestly are the one that taught me to do the room upgrade. Like yes. if, when you go to the, when you check in at the Hyatt, always ask. Right, and now you ask for rake service. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, we need to learn right? about this. <laughs> and he did a fly jump. Look at your feet now. Look. Oh my gosh, are. it's perfect. Well, there's popcorn now. Right. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> 
But you never know. But that was from the guests. 